but I will thank them for the cooperation and relationship that we are working in and the environment that we are working with them. Thank you very much, National Council. <laughs> Professional bodies, the Vice Chancellor has already thanked them here, but I will add on all of them, Nursing Council, Pharmacy Council, Law Council, Allied Health Council, all of them. I will thank them because we have not had, especially Nursing Council. Nursing Council, they told me that there is a commissioner for nursing here. Nursing Council, I will thank you very much for the support and advice you've been giving us. And I think we've been following I will thank, of course, government of Uganda. Government of Uganda, already in the students that we are graduating, the 2,400 students, about 300 students are paid by government of Uganda, which is State House, Loans Board, Minister of Education, Minister of Health, and Minister of Defense. I will thank government of Uganda for the support of the students who are graduating today. Then I will thank the government of Nigeria. In fact, of, of Nigerian High Commission today, it was a sign of thanking the government of Nigeria. Because for the last 10 years, we've been getting a lot of support from government of Nigeria. Mainly support, support in the human resource. Even now, recently, they gave us an offer of 100. We have selected the ambassador. I think they have written to you. Of the, of, the, of the 400 people they have sent to us to select, we have selected 107 staff. <laughs> of the staff, the 107 staff, I think 22 are full professors with PhDs, about 34 they are associate professors, and the rest are senior lecturers. <laughs> Mr. Ambassador, sir, I want to thank you very much this time, because the quality of the staff that they have given us, which we are going to get, I think, in January, we had never got them from Nigerian government. Thank you very much, because we are going to receive 107 PhD staff from government of Nigeria of which 27 will be going to Dar es Salaam. I think 32 will be coming at main campus, and 48 will be going to Western campus. They are coming in January, they have confirmed, and one of our people is traveling to Nigeria tomorrow to make necessary arrangements to ensure that those people comes and reaches here safely. I thank you for that, and please, of TAC. I don't have much to say. Of course, last three, I will thank the general public for the environment and confidence put in KIU. And Mr. Chancellor, sir, I will thank you also because when the students died here, the six students they have talked about, and whenever we get any issue, you rush and move fast to come and say sorry to us. As a parent, I salute you for that. That's all my speech. And graduates with parents, I wish you the best. Thank you very much. Thank you, Alhaj Hassan Basajabalaba, for your speech. Our invited guests, the Chancellor, members, we are honored to have an array of honor in our midst. Because this is very important. It's a very important. I'd like to recognize the presence of Kitata Abod, the MP of Bokoto West. Honorable Kasozi Ibrahim Biribawa, MP Makindia East. Honorable Timuzigu Kamjisha Michael. MP Kajara, Ntungamo District. Our, our graduates, we want to thank you for keeping calm, for giving us the audience. It's very important and we appreciate. I'd like once again to 
introduce the co-MC. Together with me is handling this ceremony. Mr. Chancellor, sir, we are also privileged and honored to have, um, to be honored. of Kampala International University, Your Excellences, the Ambassadors and High Commissioners, Honorable Members of Parliament, Chairperson and Members of the University Council, the Vice Chancellor of Kampala International University, the Vice Chancellor and Rectors of other universities present, the Deputy Vice Chancellors and other members of KIU management team, all staff of KIU in your various categories, distinguished guests, KIU alumni, graduates, continuing KIU students, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, it is my singular honor and pleasure welcome you to Kampala International University and to the university's 17th graduation and awards ceremony. I wish to extend a very special and Your Excellency Dr. Tubon Nya Eyoma Asuko and your dedication. Thank you for gracing us today with your personal presence. We are grateful, as you've heard from the previous speakers, for the special relationship KIU enjoys with the government and the people of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, particularly in the field of higher education. Your country's contribution to KIU through the provision of professors over the years, and you've heard that now we'll be getting over a hundred of them, has been enormous and is highly appreciated. Thank you for being a good Kampala International University ambassador in your country. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, I extend my sincere thanks, as the Vice Chancellor has already done so, together with the Chairman of Council, to our Chairman of the Board of Trustees the man who had the vision to found this university, Alhaj Hassan Basajja Balaba, that he is a big man, for his continued contribution, support, and guidance to the university. In addition, I thank you, Alhaj Basajja Balaba, for spearheading the great infrastructure development seen here at the, camp at the Kansanga campus and also at the Ishaka campus, and for the heavy investments you are injecting in the university's branches at the Lassam and Nairobi, respectively. Indeed, you are not only in Uganda, 
University Council, Professor Fred uh, Wabwire Mangeni, and the members of the Council for ably providing stewardship to the University. No doubt the strategic policies you have put in place and the critical oversight you have provided to management have contributed significantly to making this university a real center of excellence in teaching, research, innovation, and community engagement. I'm glad to know that more effort is being made towards strengthening even further the research and the innovation functions through forging strategic partnerships with the reputable institutions in the region and globally. As we all know, without research and publications, a university is relegated to the status of a glamorized secondary school. I therefore commend the Council for this effort. It's an effort in the right direction. On another happy note, I wish to extend my gratitude to the Vice Chancellor, Dr. Mohamed Mpesamihigo, and his team for the exemplary leadership and excellent jobs done. As we've heard from his report and also from Chairman of a lot has been achieved since this relatively young team was handed the mantle to run this university. Congratulations on your notable achievements, Mr. Vice While congratulating Dr. Pesame Higo with his and his team, I am reminded that all those achievements are a collective effort of the Board of Trustees, University Council, Senate, staff, and the students. You all deserve our recognition and a big thank you. I must say I'm particularly exuberant about the important achievement of the School of Pharmacy and the Faculty of Clinical Medicine and the Dentistry for winning the award for excellent training in pharmacy from the Pharmaceutical Society of Uganda. Thank you for keeping the name of KIU aloft. However, as we've all heard, and I should have started with this, on a sad and a very, very sad note, I wish to convey my heart condolences to the University Board of Trustees, the entire KIU community, the immediate families, relatives, and friends on the untimely death of the nine beloved students on this semester, six of whom in a tragic road accident, which uh, the chairman of council said a senseless accident, and indeed a senseless one, on Kampala Guru Highway on November 4th. 2017. They that may those that have departed rest in perfect peace. And may, and may those who are still recuperating in the various hospitals we wish you a quick recovery. Now to you, the graduates, because we are trying to be uh, speedy so that we can save time for you. Dear graduates, you are the reason we are assembled here today. Today is the day when you celebrate your achievements. Uh, they salute you for the hard work, sleepless nights, and the dedication that you've invested in your studies over the years. On such occasion, I'm sure you must be feeling very proud of yourselves for what you've accomplished and eagerly excited.
to lay your hands on your degree, transcripts, and certificates, and to join the world of rough and tumble out there. I wish to join those who have spoken before me in congratulating you most warmly on your well-deserved achievements. The knowledge, competences, and skills that you have acquired while at KIU, plus the overall personal development, as well as your passion, zeal, commitment, and willingness to learn, will stand you in good stead to face the realities and the challenges of life. And they will always be indispensable tools for you as you embark on a tough road to the whole into the future. Well, as they will be even more important as you start competing with the myriads of graduates of all persuasions for the few jobs that the labor market has to offer. The phrase, the sea of knowledge, has no shorelines. It should always remind you that learning does not end the day you exit. Rather, the life is about lifelong. Situation is simply the end of one chapter and the beginning of another and the even longer one. I wish you all the best for the future. Believe me, you will succeed beyond your wildest dreams, provided you avoid the pitfalls of modern life, which include corruption and reckless lifestyle that are fueling early death, drugs, and substance abuse, the spread of diseases like HIV and AIDS, still very to name a few. Take good for your servants, for your parents, for your guardians, for your alma mater, KIU, and for your very hard for the world. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, I wish to thank your parents, guardians, benefactors, and well-wishers who have made a very painful sacrifice for your education in order to secure your future. We thank you very much for making it possible for these young men and women to be here today. I thank all our partners, our benefactors, our donors who have contributed to the development of this university and of course to the education of the graduates who are here today. I thank everyone who has contributed the good Lord and Almighty Allah bless you all for God and my country. Thank you, Chancellor, for that wonderful address and the words of wisdom to our graduates. We request you, Vice Chancellor Sir, sorry, I beg your pardon. We request you, Chancellor Sir, to please do us the honor and invite our guest of honor, His Excellency Dr. Etubom Nya Eyoma Asuko. Your Excellency, it's my singular honor and pleasure to invite you to address a congregation. Chairman, Board of Trustees, Kampala, the Chancellor, the Vice Chancellor, 
deputy vice chancellors, your excellencies, heads of diplomatic missions, members of the diplomatic community here present, religious and traditional rulers, honorable members of parliament here present, distinguished guests, graduates, and their dear parents and guardians, staff and students of Kampala International University. It is indeed a great honor to be called upon as a guest of honor to give an address on this occasion of the 17th graduation ceremony of Kampala International University. I recall being given a similar address during my graduation ceremony over four decades ago, which has helped in molding me into who I am today. Let me start by congratulating Kampala International University on your 17th graduation ceremony. We at the Nigerian High Commission are very happy that Nigeria is part of this success story. Through the Technical Aid Corps program and various collaborations between Kampala International University and other reputable institutions of higher learning in Nigeria, which include University of Ibadan, Kaduna State University, Sokoto and Kasina State Universities, ETC. I am particularly pleased to state that the number of Nigerian staff and students here in Kampala has been increasing over the years. We thank you for accepting and recognizing the potentials and caliber of staff sent to the university from Nigeria. Nurturing our students from Nigeria in your university to become learned and responsible citizens. I want to use this opportunity to assure that the federal government of Nigeria is willing to give more assistance as might be required in future. <laughs> to you, my dear graduates, I congratulate you all for having successfully completed your studies at Kampala International University. Graduation day prepares you for the challenges ahead. And I strongly believe without any iota of doubt that this noble institution has furnished each and every one of you with the requisite training to succeed amid the challenges that life may throw at you. On this note, I say welcome to the wider world of challenges as well as opportunities. Today, as you receive your qualifications, you will hold in your hands the keys to your future. I urge you to always remember the sacrifices others have made to ensure that you stand here today. As you move from here to the world at large, I will appeal to you that in your different communities, where there is inequality, endeavor to work for equality. And wherever there is injustice, endeavor to work for justice. To the current students of Kampala International University, I urge you to relentlessly seek knowledge and take your academic pursuits seriously. I wish you success and a bright future on completion of your studies. To the parents and guardians of the graduates who are here today, I thank you for your great sacrifices in producing these illustrious leaders of tomorrow. I can see the smiles on your faces as you are today seeing the rewards of your many sacrifices. 
I have no doubt that the good Lord will reward you bountifully for your wise investments in human capital. To the Chancellor, Chairman Board of Trustees, Chairman of Council, President of Senate, and the entire staff of Kampala International University, your hard work and sacrifices has kept and will continue to keep the university growing in spite